a hmm um i i do not know how long i have been disconnected for i blame the horrible wi-fi from this house entirely because this would never happen at my old apartment um but hi, welcome back. I... Jesus Christ. Will I need to send out another message saying that I'm live? That might be the case again. Uh, hmm. Alza, okay. Well, I am going to hope that the Wi-Fi fixed itself because <laughs> yeah honestly maybe maybe I should reconsider moving out sooner than I thought I was going to because if if my stream is gonna cut off halfway into it um I I don't think that's a I don't think that's a good thing. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They know this router is shitty. Um, it's the same shitty router that they had for a few years now. But um, obviously I never complained about it because I only visited from like for like a few days, and even then I was never home. And I yeah, this never happened in Ottawa, so <laughs> may may need to move out a lot sooner. Hopefully, we didn't miss too much. I'm not too sure when it actually stopped. That is the biggest issue that we are having. Uh, but I'm gonna go back a few questions just to in just in case. Um. So, I have been described as coded on caring, <laughs> despite of, despite what I want people to uh, see me as, uh, they don't. Um, I often feel suspicious of people even after they've acted loyally towards me. Um, also, yeah okay good, um, also a lie, I feel like blind loyalty is toxic and, you know, it's like a puzzle piece. You can't just be loyal. That's not who you are. You need to be more than that. You need to... It's... There's a more than just loyalty to you, and if that's all you're gonna give me... It's toxic. Am I suspicious of that? No. But am I saying that, yeah, this might end poorly for us? Yes. Um, am I more special than others? I don't believe so. I believe everyone is equal in that sense. Because believing that I'm more superior than others, yeah, some people are really fucking stupid. But in terms of like being special, no. Although I have been told by certain people that I am, so I'm not gonna say completely disagree because, you know, flattery. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, people purposely do and say things to upset me. Um, <laughs> although I know people online and like the people I'm contacted with don't. And like the people I've worked with don't, and the customers that I've served don't. The people, the people I'm in close vicinity to at the moment do. So I'm gonna have to say yes, people purposely do and say things to upset me. Actually, fun fact, um, in high school, uh, I was added to this group chat where for the last few months people actually tried to insult me and like they would discuss plans to like see if I would slip up and be a bad person. It was like full-fledged plans to be like, okay, on this day I'm gonna do this, and if Thomas reacts this way, then we know our answer. And like, it's it was like months worth of texting, and eventually a lot of the people felt so bad that they added me to said group chat, and the, the fucking speed that everyone in that group chat switched up, being like, oh my god, we're so sorry, we thought you were being fake, and it's like, shut the fuck up. It's, it's probably the, f it's probably the first time 
that I was sick to my stomach, like physically sick to my stomach. I thought that was just an expression up until that point. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, it has been done before. People have tried it. Uh, honestly, it was really hilarious because a lot of the things they tried to get me for were very stupid things that like, it was, it was like, okay, if he, if he coughs in like one hand and not the other, then we know our answer, like that kind of bullshit. Like the, the things they were trying to get me for were just so little and petty. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even score. It was like a cost, um, was that a cosplay group? It was either cosplay or roleplay. I don't, yeah. Um, <laughs> but people in school love me. Um, yeah, no, I don't think anyone actually bullied me in person. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, aside from my family, but that's besides the point. Um, I sometimes get into dangerous. <laughs> I sometimes get into dangerous situations. Um, does that does that really need to be um elaborated on? <laughs> um. By the way, I actually, uh, I might have broken my toenail because yesterday I dropped the heaviest part of the vacuum on my big toe and anytime I touch it, it feels really loose and, um, the, the coloring of my toenail is very, um, discolored. So, uh, yeah. I, that's the thing. Um, for the first few hours, my entire nervous system up from my leg just stung anytime I tried to step on it. So, yeah, that was a pain. But now it's just anytime I touch the toenail, which might suck when I go out and, you know, put socks and shoes on. <laughs> um, I am a unique individual who deserves special treatment. Uh... No. However, pigs are gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> mm, um. <laughs> I'm someone who deserves great recognition and success. Now, do I believe that because I am a great person? Oh wait, hold on, the music stopped. When did this happen? Oh wow, okay, that's odd. Guess we don't have music for the rest of the stream. <laughs> oh well, I didn't even realize it. Um, do I believe that I'm someone who deserves it? Not really, if I'm being honest. But, do I want it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, I keep track of sensitive information that can be useful to hurt people for a lot of time. Do I intentionally keep track of it? No. But do I remember it? Y yes. Um, it's quite unfortunate that I do tend to remember the worst parts about people. However, I do, I will say, I use that... My apologies, someone started saying something personal upstairs I didn't want that to like be caught. Um, yeah, anyways, um, so, uh, I do use that to, um, make people feel better. It's, it's really hit and miss on what people, it's like, it's one of those ink blob tests that I do. Um, I will say the absolute worst thing that I think about someone to someone else. And if they still want to talk to each other and be friends, then that's great. You, they know the worst about each other. But... You know, sometimes that backfires, and when you hear the worst about someone, you automatically think they're a horrible person. But, and although, like, people are like, wow, we could have been friends, how could you do that? It's the fact that when they heard the worst part about you that's already happened, imagine them becoming friends and then finding out, and then, you know, it cr crumbling down. I personally am in great belief that if you say the worst part about someone to someone else, or about yourself, and the person still wants to talk to you, that is a better connection than someone who only hears the good things about you. Um, I exploit others towards my own ends. 
Uh, do I try to exploit people? No. Does it end up happening? I don't know how or why, and I I wish I could explain it, but it it happens. Um, I enjoy coming out on top after humiliating others. Um, it's it's a nice feeling. <laughs> um, others consider my lifestyle wild and exciting. I actually get mixed uh opinions about this. Um. Obviously, from people who don't know me in real life, this isn't even like someone who hasn't known me for a few years online. In real life, a lot of people say that I'm pretty boring, but on online, um, that tends to be a different demographic. Because uh, <laughs> in person, I know people who um, <laughs> I, I know people who um, are familiar with the back of a police car. And online, I know people who didn't leave their house, didn't leave their city until high school. So it really is two extremes, and I haven't really met a middle ground to properly judge if my life is wild and exciting. Uh, but if I were to say, I would say that my life is pretty tame. Um... I can get pretty angry when others disagree with me. Again, it's uh people are allowed to have different opinions. Uh will I be angry if someone disagrees with me? No. But will it make me sad? It depends on what we're disagreeing on, you know? Uh skate equals excitement <laughs> and family drama. Yeah, but like I I personally see skateboarding as like, it's fun, it's cool, but like, like when I say it, like wild and exciting, uh, maybe, maybe I'll put it in middle ground then. But like family drama, that's that's something that everyone has. Um, I I've only met a few people who genuinely are great people, have no family drama are not traumatized by the fact that they, they don't have family drama. Just one fact, that is that is very possible that because someone was raised so well, they feel like they missed out on what all their friends are feeling, and so they have this feeling of isolation. It's actually, it's so horrible that because other people have had it worse than them, they get this mentality that they should have had it worse, and then, hey, it's... I am... Um, getting a little too psychological with this. I'm gonna just hit the next button. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, finish. And let's see our results. Uh, oh, whoa. Uh, honestly, um, Is it bad that I was expecting a little something a little different? <laughs> uh, manipulativeness is my lowest trait, and my highest seems to be risk taking. Huh? See, risk taking I understood. I I knew that for a fact. But this. <laughs> If, uh, <laughs> I feel weird saying this, but seeing manipulativeness being so low, I am in both disbelief, but I'm very happy about that because again, it's the way the way I was raised to be. Um, kind of using people to better myself is. Yeah, you know, it's this just shows that you are able to break old habits, things that people have taught you to do. But I don't know. I feel like in my heart I feel like this should be way higher. But you know, I I will take this as a sign that things can change. A, a happy little note. <laughs> um, so here's a little explanation of the uh, facets. Uh, 
I don't think anyone really needs to me to read this. I feel like if you do want to, you can just do the test yourself. But you know, callousness is lack of empathy. Grandiosity is just uh, pride. Uh, aggression is aggression. Uh, suspicion is suspicion. Manipulativeness is manipulativeness. And I'm not even saying that word properly. Uh, dominance is dominance and risk taking is uh, how risky you are. Uh, so, I can actually compare, I want to compare this to like other people's results and, oh, did you now? Okay. Okay. So, let me, uh, let me take a mental image of this. Actually, let me first compare this to the first you saw I got. Because I think last year, or two years ago, um, me and my friends did this together, and... Oh, okay, yeah, the, the results are a little different. Um, so, last year, nothing was below the, um, the two-tier list. So, Aerie? So, Aerie? What? <laughs> um, but yeah, um... Last year, everything was at least at um on stage three. Uh, the lowest one again was manipulativeness, so that stayed the same. <laughs> but uh, grandiosity and callousness were at the verge of tier four, and they were even. So seeing that grandiosity went up and callousness went down is very interesting. Um, my aggression, <laughs> my aggression, and my suspicion went up. And my risk-taking went up too, but my dominance actually... Oh, my dom... Mm, I, I don't think I should say that with the audience I have, but my dominance went down one entire section. Um, <laughs> so I went from a 66.43 to a 52.86. Honestly, that, that probably means I'm a easier to get along with, but I'm still pretty difficult. And, uh, so 52, 86, let's see how everyone else did in comparison to me. Um, so this first one, I'm not sure if I should say names or not, but, uh, I did say that I was going to, so this is Will's. Will has known me since 2019. We didn't really talk until 2020, but, uh, he's someone who, I guess, for cosplaying has known me for a decent amount of time uh so <laughs> with his everything is pretty rounded out um the lowest one he put me for was actually risk taking which i found hilarious after seeing everyone else's results so take in mind uh risk taking is the lowest for him aggression is the highest and actually um the aggression is a lot higher than what i put myself to be and i think the closest thing that he got correct about me was my grandiosity and my dominance. Uh. Uh. Oh! You are so smart. What the fuck? If only. Oh, fuck. I swear to God, if I have to retake that. God, I swear to God. Okay, thank God. You know what? Let me really quickly share this to Twitter. Uh, can I say that as a draft? Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? My mouse is just not working with me today. I don't know why. I I didn't drop it. That's the thing. Um, it didn't start being fu uh, fucky like this a week or two ago, and I haven't dropped it the entire time. Yeah, so this is, uh, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I took out Will's, hold on, let me grab that real quick. William, William, where art thou, William? See, this is my as a mod, you, you know, you know things. <laughs> yeah, so this is Will's compared to mine, and like, you can see, wait, it's the callousness, actually, um, 
Ooh, the callousness, I think, might actually be the closest one. Uh, as well as the... Oh, wait, the dominance is, like, spot on. <laughs> and although, like, uh, he kind of evened everything out and, like, pushed up aggression, he's pretty close to what I got, 53.57 and 52.86. Oh, wait. Oh, no, can I not do... Hold on, let me make another screen real quick. Uh, desktop capture, how about that? Desktop, desktop, desktop. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. All right, let me just make this bigger. Uh, transform it to screen. Move this uh, down. All right. Now let me open this and this. Here we are. Sorry, I didn't. I have window capture on, so it only does like one window. Uh, so yeah, display capture. Um. <laughs> so yeah, look at this. He he got the uh, dominance correct, um, and was pretty close to the callousness and grandosity, but everything else was pretty wrong. Um. I do I do understand why the manipulativeness and aggression is there, because um. I, I think last year most was like a big spike in the aggression I had between being very calm and being very manipulative as I was trying to push out everything I had learned growing up. Uh so I guess he kinda got the um bad bad end of that uh dill. <laughs> Whoops. But he's still, you know, a good person. We actually have a Stardew Valley farm together with um our friends Cass and Elliot. That that's nice. That's nice. Uh but yeah, so that's Will's results, which are interesting. And here we have yours. You actually have it pretty good too. Um you have oh, you got the dominance right too. And with the exaggeration on uh risk taking, uh, I found it really funny because like it's like yeah, he's not really risk takey. He's probably super more aggressive. I was like, nah, this bitch is psychotic. He's he's destroying his body. <laughs> and then it's just like you also have manipulativeness as the lowest one, and the aggression is still there, but it's a lot less than Wells. <laughs> mm. And the callousness. Again, that's something that I thought was going to be higher for mine too. I thought callousness, manipulative, and aggression was going to be like the biggest ones. Ah, uh, but I guess, you know, changing. <laughs> then also, comparing yours to my friend um, Ari, he... Wait, no, this isn't Ari, this is Octavia. So this is Octavia's. <laughs> so you see how it's like, you know, nah, he's pretty calm except for that he's kind of aggressive. Um... Nah, I think he's more risk taking, but like, you know, it's pretty calm. Nah, he's horrible. I hate him. I despise him. Uh, <laughs> uh, Octavia is pretty chill though. And uh, actually, fun fact: Octavia has the highest um difficulty rate for me, <laughs> which makes sense because um Octavia is one of those people who I don't really talk to, but they've seen me in twenty twenty when I was very adamant on making sure people thought I was aggressive and like manipulative like how fucking different that is <laughs> but then it's like risk taking is the lowest one which makes sense because Octavia also is on my discord server they see how precise I am with things so I guess in that sense they don't see it as very, being very risky it almost like a full circle yeah right <laughs> Like nothing is beyond the uh nothing is beyond point three aside from risk taking. Um beyond um under I mean. 
And then we have my friend Ari. This is Ari's for sure. Um, but she's like, yeah, he's he's a show off. He's very risky and like he doesn't trust people. Like I'm one hundred percent in agreement with this. I I know the way I talk to Ari. It's it sounds like this. And uh, it's weird because uh, I'll, I'll keep this on for later, but uh, it does match someone else's response to um, a, li a little too good nicely. Uh, but then we have uh, I cannot remember. This is Haley. Fucking Haley. What do you mean? Haley, if you're in chat, what the fuck do you mean by this? <laughs> I no no no, no dominance. <laughs> what what are you trying to say? <laughs> but then you can see that the suspicion and the colorlessness are fucking spiked. It's just like yeah. Um, I believe Haley also, uh, was following me when I was like really detoxing and taking that out on everyone. If I'm being honest, um, but yeah. Yeah, apparently that's apparently that's just what I am now. <laughs> but they did get my aggression correct, which I do admire. Um, but then we have uh, we have someone who I actually met this week. Uh, their name is Lily, and literally I was talking to him on TikTok. We got each other's Instagrams, and like they did this the moment they saw my story. Um, so this is like the perspective of someone who literally. Has only talked to me once. They do not see any callousness or suspicion, and um, they think I'm just a grand old person who does who's a little risky. Which, you know what? Given every first impression people have given of me, this I believe is pretty accurate. As like uh, as a average, you just met this dude. What's your thoughts? <coughs> But then, we get to Ray. Ray who has known me since high school. I genuinely was not expecting this. I thought they were going to put me way more aggressive, way more grand, and way more manipulative. But, they really, they really uh, pinpointed the suspicion and the uh, risk taking. And I believe it was with either Ari or Haley. Here. Uh, no, Haley, yeah. Whereas, like, it matches out a little bit. And then, comparing that to what I see of myself, like, we both see the suspicion and the uh, risk-taking. Um, that's both something that we can agree on. <laughs> but, um, they do think I'm more manipulative, which... I'm genuinely shocked about that. Because, um, this motherfucker... I'm not gonna say anything, but this motherfucker... Really? If I'm that high from manipulativeness, then hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's. I really look like, like <sighs> fuck. I really like looking at people's results and how they see me. Cause um, let me go back to. Actually, let me just delete this because I I don't need this anymore. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Uh, move. Yes. Let me go back to this screen. Uh, because I actually tallied this out. Do 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 do. So obviously mine my results aren't here. But here are some results. So what I did was I, I did the highest marker and then the top three. So most people can agree. Actually most people can't agree on anything. Let me let me move this up. Just do 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 uh so let me just do do risk taking is risk taking is my highest and manipulation is my lowest. Okay. Do do. So most people kind of get it right. Um, although suspicion is the highest, uh, risk taking is what I got for myself, and then manipulativeness is the lowest, which is. I I want to talk about these results a little bit because it's your keenness is showing up. <laughs> I I just. Hold on. 
Y you want to see Kiki? I'll show you Kiki. Let me let me let me make this into columns. Um. Uh, formats, uh, columns, double, wait, why did that, oh, hold on, let me, let me, there we go, wait, why, wait, what, hold on, oh, why did it go into the, there we go, <laughs> I number, <laughs> yeah. You know what? I I like numbers. Joe it. Um. <laughs> so what what had happened? Um, is between the seven people who did it, no one could really agree on what my highest uh trait was. Uh, they all kind of even out with suspicion, risk taking, and grandiosity. Um. Aggression comes from will, but uh, it for the longest time, suspicion, risk, and grandiosity were like equals. Uh, as you can see, with me having to move suspicion up, I actually just put that in for a raise. You did it uh last night, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> no one can really decide on what the highest point was, but people can agree that yeah, regardless of what his most difficult trait is, his most the average difficult trait he possesses is both aggression and risk taking. Four people, uh, four people agreed on that for both of them. Four out of seven. So, uh, four out of seven. Uh, <laughs> times a hundred. Uh, no, not times a hundred. Yeah, times a hundred. And then, da -da. it's like over fifty percent. <laughs> You're a risky boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of people could agree that risk taking aggression, if if they didn't think that was my highest, they definitely agreed that that was one of the three top ones, which made sense because my uh my highest that I got actually was risk taking. And in my top three, we actually got uh suspicion, risk taking, and it was tied for dominance and aggression, which was um uh, the top three. Dominance was actually the lowest one. No one really believed that that was my highest trait. Uh, but, you know, they got most of it right. Uh, Grandosity, I also thought would be a bit higher, but it's not. Surprisingly. Uh, but then for the lowest one, um, the lowest one, no one could actually agree what my least toxic trait was. Because, um, like, there's only seven results, but there's five uh, answers here, meaning that no one could really agree what the lowest thing was. I just repeated myself, what the fuck. Um, but it's like, one person thought maybe my aggression was the lowest trait I had. Uh, <laughs> but then everyone else is like, nah, that's wrong. Uh, but again, by doing this, you can also see that uh, two people didn't have it as my highest. But they didn't really think it was the lowest one either. Uh, I'll get to that in a bit. But uh, it ended up even risk taking was like very fifty fifty. I think people uh got risk taking, callousness, and manipulativeness mixed up, or at least confused in the head because uh, I can I can see I, I can see you know those ones being similar. You gotta go back to work, but uh, enjoy the rest of the day and stream. Parental <laughs> figure, shut up. Have a great day, dude. Uh, but yeah, so like manipulativeness was uh, technically the winner of this, but when we go down to what people actually thought I was, no one thought I was callous. It's not even, uh, maybe like two and a half people thought maybe, potentially, um, that could be one of my top three, but a lot of people were like, nah, he's not callous, it can't be that. People were also very much in agreement that manipulativeness and dominance were not my highest either, which is... I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> and then with Grandosity, uh, it's split. Three people thought I, it would be my highest, three people thought it was my lowest, and one person thought it was just middle ground. I, I think that's a very interesting statistic, because a lot of the characters that I can and a lot of the things that I believe I portray myself as seem to be very grand. So, potentially, that just means that Grand is pretty high, 
They just think it's not the most toxic thing I do, which might say that the things they think I am toxic about is super toxic. It's... <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's... I, I enjoyed that. I really do like the way things turned out. Um, I do think it's pretty surprising um, that my highest traits and my lowest traits are what they are. I don't know. I feel like I'm very paranoid. I, maybe, maybe because I did too many middle ground uh, answers, uh, risk taking ended up being the highest, but I feel like I would be more suspicious than anything. But with that being said, that is the end of the first part of this stream. Uh, let me... <laughs> Actually, I don't need to move my camera. So basically what's going to happen is, I do want to test out to see if certain games are streamable. And basically what that means is, I'm going to see if it runs on stream, we're not actually going to play anything. We might like move around the map. But the issue I've been having with Among Us is that... It works. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I'll be in car with Elliot testing it, and it's smooth as fuck. I am getting the most frames I've ever gotten from Among Us. And other times, I'll play an entire map. <laughs> I will walk through an entire map, do all of my tasks, and for, God, for some godforsaken reason, when I look at the, uh, the footage, I never even entered the game. I'm still on the loading screen. It, I don't know why or how it does it, but yeah, I just want to see if it will work. I might actually do a test stream on Friday. Um, 